Hi Taurus, I'm Pam the Lucky Mermaid, Psychic Seer and Modern Mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for March 2024. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in March and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, Sometimes your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there, so you might want to check that out. This recording is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Rising, and Taurus Moon. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck in this reading. All that being said, Taurus, now on to your March 2024 Psychic Tarot reading. first card you have, Taurus, is the Two of Cups. And this is two people that are fate, fated, destined, meant to be, preordained, intertwined with each other. This could be a soulmate, a twin flame. But, you know, you can have twin, you can have soulmate energy with one of your kids, a friend, a family member. So it can be love, it can be romantic love, but sometimes it is not. There could be somebody that you are interested in that you're or that you're connected to already that you're trying to find out what makes them tick. What are they all about? What inspires them? What motivates them? What's their belief systems and their ideologies? There could also be a sense of feeling like you have to communicate with somebody very strongly this month. So there could be somebody that you feel like it's important or necessary for you to reach out to them. And you may have like real hopes that they're going to be open and willing to and desiring to uh, communicating back with you. So you may have some question about how that's going to go. I feel like you will be receiving a response. Some of you, if you are intertwined with somebody romantically, you could get a proposal. You could get engaged in March, or maybe you are the one doing the proposing. If you are connected strongly to somebody, you could feel like they're a safety net to you and they're coming through for you this month. That could be a lifetime friend, a dear, a, you know, a dear friend. It could be, uh, you know, a romantic partner, but there could be somebody that really comes through for you this month in some way. And any loyalty, like you may be looking for somebody to be loyal to you. You may already be loyal to somebody else already. You may be loyal to someone. This loyalty is going to pay off for you. Any loyalty you've shown, whether it's to a love partner or a friend, or if this other person is a family member, loyalty you've had towards them is going to pay off. But some of you Tauruses are looking for loyalty from someone to come to you. And for some of you, there's something that you may need to put your head together with somebody you're close to and uh, get to the bottom of something. Like putting your heads together, but getting to work on something to get to the root cause of a problem or to get down to the nitty gritty of something that maybe needs your time and attention that needs to get taken care of. For some of you, this could be a financial issue or situation. It could also be, for some of you, a medical uh, problem or issue or situation. It could also have to do with a, a family member or something going on that you really need your time and your attention and needs you to get to the root cause and get to the bottom of it. And you very likely could be doing this with whomever this is for you in the Two of Cups card. 
Now, your next tarot card for this month of March is the Eight of Pentacles. And this is learning a new craft, learning a new skill, starting a new job, starting a new business, gaining financial gain and reward from whatever you're working on. This could also be perfecting something you are creating. Uh, this is often in the old days of tarot was called the card of the apprentice. You're starting to feel like your old self again. You're starting to get back into some groove of something. Maybe you had taken a leave of absence. Maybe you hadn't been working for a while uh, for whatever reason. Maybe you took uh, a vacation, a leave of absence. But this is like getting back into the groove of something. Or it could be something that you did a long time ago that you kind of stepped away from and you could be deciding to go back to an old career or an old business or an old skill, a craft or something you knew how to do and you getting back into the groove of doing it in March. And you may be really wanting to prove yourself and demonstrate your knowledge, your talents, and your skills to other people. That could be important to you this month. Maybe it's going to be you, maybe you want to go for a job interview or an audition. You know, don't think auditions are just for like theater and movies. Uh, as a pastry chef, I had to audition for quite a few jobs. You know, that was part of the interview process. So, Sometimes you have to audition for things that have nothing to do with, you know, uh, the entertainment world. You're putting all your power of ingenuity and creativity and creative thinking into something you're working on in March. May have even already started in February. And you may feel like this is where I shine. This is where I'm going to rise to the top. So you may even find that you putting all this effort into getting into the groove and really putting all your efforts and focus and energy onto what you're doing, you could get a promotion, a raise. You could also get, like I said, you could be auditioning for a job. You could be getting hired for something. And I feel that this will, my guides are saying money will start rolling in. It may have even started again. I keep getting February and this reading is in March. However, I'm recording this in the, at the end of February. So some of these energies I feel for some of you Tauruses have already began in February. And you're really going to show up and and put on a good show or a good presentation if you have to teach anything give any lectures or demonstrations or webinars or seminars or master classes or anything like that you're going to do exceptionally well it will go exceptionally well for you sorry there's a gnat in here i occasionally gnats come out of my plants and i do have things to try to stop them <laughs> but they still find a way occasionally to pop up so before i move on to your next card if you would like to see how this upcoming full moon lunar eclipse in libra march 25th 2024 will be affecting you for at least the next six months you can get my psychic tarot crystal and oracle card readings for that eclipse by clicking on the link down below in the description box in the show more section, or you can go over to my website at the Lucky Mermaid LLC uh, videos page, and the links will be there, hopefully, because as you see, February was a crappy month for me with a broken wrist and a sprained wrist on this hand. Typing has been incredibly difficult. So hopefully those links will be on my website, but if they're not, that link is down below in the description box beneath this video. So card number three for you, Taurus, is, is very likely you. You have the Page of Pentacles. And this is an Earth sign person, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, Sun sign, Rising sign, or Moon sign. 
It could also be a child to you because pages can be children, but they can also be adults that are immature or young at heart. Pages can bring messages. So this page would be bringing you a message about money and finances or things of value. There could be some kind of grassroots project that you want to start. It could be at your own home. Maybe you're starting gardening, you're starting plants, starting seedlings for the spring and summer. Uh, but it could be a grassroots project of something that you want to create, like helping out homeless people, helping uh, a grassroots project to, you know, improve the environment or in your town, maybe with the, like a town cleanup or a historical society type of event or, or grassroots project in something else completely. Maybe you want to start something that actually helps inmates that are in jail uh, or people that are institutionalized for other reasons. And you may do something that may even start off great in the beginning. I, I don't even feel like it's such a slow start, but something you're doing here goes off like gangbusters. Like it's going to be uh, well received. If there's any way that anything involving you collecting and receiving donations for a grassroots project or for something that you are passionate about that you want to collect donations from people, I feel it will go exceedingly well. Some of you are learning to cope with something. There could be a coping mechanism that triggers in you. This could also be another earth sign person that you're connected to. So learning to cope with a disability, learning to cope with a difficult situation, learning to cope with uh, could be a medical condition or something else could be a family situation, but learning to cope with something comes up here for you. Uh, even if that, like it could happen at your job, maybe they're changing your schedule or routine or changing something like the department you work in or the area you work in and, uh, or getting teamed up with other people that you may not be that crazy about, you are going to be learning to cope with something in March for some of you. But because it's a general reading, Taurus, I can't totally pinpoint where this exactly will be happening for, for you specifically. So it's always good to watch your rising sign and maybe even your moon sign if you know both of those because you could get a more clear and complete picture. If there was some kind of violent outburst, somebody could pay you money. Now think on that. I know that's a weird prediction. Welcome to psychic readings. They come up, weird things pop up. So if uh, there was like a violent outburst, somebody could pay you off. <coughs> so you don't press charges. There could be a settlement coming to you. The violent outburst could be from somebody you know uh, or even from somebody you don't know, and they could be afraid of what you're going to say or do. So they could try to pay you off with some money. You have to see how that plays out. So Taurus, the next card in your reading is the five of cups, which is sadness, loss, and regret, but not all hope is lost because there is still two cups upright behind the person. So there's still hope here. I feel that there was something, Taurus, where you lost yourself, where you got lost in a relationship or in a situation, or you lost yourself in some way, but I feel like you've, re you've come back from it. I feel like you've re you're regaining it. You will um, come back from wh whatever this loss was. It could also be some loss that you experienced of a breakup, a relationship of something. In some cases, some of you Taurus may feel that there was some kind of loss 
that makes you have to start over and start back from the beginning. If it was from any storms, like a tornado, a hurricane, a flood, or some other type of natural disaster that affected your property, your home, your environment, um, you may have to start over from scratch. You know, maybe your house got destroyed or part of your property. So there is an element of starting over again. There could be a situation also where you may have felt like you put your eggs, all your eggs in one basket and that it could have been a huge disappointment to you that it didn't work out and now you have to start over again. So you could put all your eggs in the basket of a spouse and they cheated on you or the relationship broke up and now you have to start over. It could also be in the stock market or some other type of investment where you put all your eggs in one basket and now you have regrets about it because it blew up. It didn't work out. There was loss. So there could be a sense of starting over again from scratch. You have to see how this fits into your life because it can be so many. All these things I'm saying to you, my guides are telling me, but usually the order in which I receive the messages is the order in which it's the most likely to fit into Taurus's, the, all the Taurus's lives that are watching. And that applies to Taurus sun, moon, and rising sign people, not just Taurus sun sign. And there's a sense of regret where you may have wished that you were more prepared. Like maybe you didn't feel like you had enough backup of something somewhere else. Because remember, there is a sense of putting all your eggs in one basket and having regrets about that and having to start over from scratch or start over from the beginning. So the last tarot card you have for March, Taurus, is the world. And this is being in control. The planets in the heavens and the spirit guides around you conspiring to give you more control. This could also be a karmic cycle ending and a new karmic cycle beginning for you. You're gathering up all the information and all the supplies and all the things that you need. It's a big gathering a month and amassing of, you know, information or products, services, whatever you need. You're gathering it. You're amassing it in March. If you own your own business, you're going to really start taking on more clients, more customers, uh, maybe doing more things to uh, like promotions uh, to get the word out there into the world of what you offer, what you have available. You could have somebody that really wants to put you in charge of something. So if you have a job already and you're not a manager or a supervisor or in charge of something that could kick up for you in March. Your boss could make you a team leader, a manager, a supervisor, or put you in charge of something very specific. And you may be learning how to create a lot of waves by what you say. So, Maybe you're going to get put in charge of social media at your job and you're going to make posts that create waves out there and attract attention and attract, uh, you know, business or patrons, clients, customers, business. Now, you could also be doing posts on social media or dating websites or something where you're creating waves maybe for your own business or you're creating waves because you want to create a dialogue and a buzz out there in the world. So you may be making waves with certain things that you're going to be. I really feel a lot of it. That 
has to do with posting on social media. Could be on a dating site, could be on, you know, the, the usual suspects, X, Facebook, Instagram, uh, whatever else, what are, whatever other platforms that you could be on. Some of you Tarsus are going to be needing more time and space to create something. If you're artistic, you may need an art studio, or if you're recording podcasts, you may need a special room that you want to put, make soundproof and have special lighting. So whatever you want to create in March, you may be looking into that to creating more space or a specifically tailored space to what it is you want to create. And you're going to start to loosen the reins and, and be more free flowing and, um, more spontaneous and expressive verbally. Uh, or with the written word or the verbal word. It could be on videos, podcasts, uh, blogs, could be in things, other things you're going to write. Like I already said, it could even be on social media. So the best gemstone crystal I got for Taurus is to work with, use, and wear in the month of March 2024. We don't see this one pop up that much. You got Carnelian. And carnelian restores motivation and stimulates creativity. It also gives courage and promotes positive life choices and dispels apathy and motivates for success. Carnelian is useful for overcoming abuse of any kind. It helps in trusting yourself and your perceptions. Carnelian brings bright and positive energy that restores enthusiasm, vitality, and motivation. It inspires passion and creativity. It offers clarity of purpose and helps us make positive life choices. It's going to be an uplifting stone for you. It's going to be a grounding stone, an uplifting stone, and help bring you more balance. It's going to help motivate you to look into the fine print or details or uh, do research into situations or things that you, you want to look into. It's going to be a good stone to if you need to get to the bottom of situations, which did come up in your reading in one of the cards. I think it was Five of Cups may have been another card also. So if you need to do analysis, research, get to the bottom of something, investigative work, looking into details of any kind, wear carnelian or have a gemstone with you when you're doing that. It's going to help you quite a bit. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like this video if you liked it and share it with others if you feel it was worth sharing. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. And hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos to YouTube. And also, Check me out on Rumble. I'm also over there at the Lucky Mermaid LLC. Now, if you are subscribed and you're not getting notified, please check and see if you've gotten unsubscribed because sometimes YouTube does that. I don't know why. I don't unsubscribe anybody. So you may want to check that out. If you would like to get any of the special video series I record for my Vimeo on demand pages, where I look at very specific topics, you using a variety of divination tools to bring you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for each sign of the Zodiac 
for those specific topics, you can access my most recently recorded video series by clicking on the links down below in the description box in the show more section. And these videos are also, the links are also on my website at the Lucky Mermaid LLC videos page. The most recently recorded video series I've recorded is the full moon lunar eclipse in Libra, March 25th, 2024, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings for each sign of the zodiac. I highly recommend if you can do so to get both your sun sign and your rising sign in that video series because this eclipse is not just going to be affecting your sun sign only and it is always wise to watch your rising sign when you can do so. Also, my big love readings for singles and couples for 2024 are also available. The first part of the videos will be your single people of your sign. The second half of the video will be the coupled people of your sign, but I do recommend you watch the entire video because there will be some crossover. So some messages for singles will apply to couples and some messages for couples will apply to the singles. I record the singles and couples in the same video because you could start out at the beginning of the year single and later on in the year you become a couple and vice versa. So that's why I do the singles and couples in the same video series, in the same videos. So also, if you would like to get uh, my psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac for March 2024, that link is also down below in the description box in the show more section. And hopefully these videos are also added to my website, but as I've said in the videos, I didn't have a good February. I broke my wrist and badly sprained my right wrist. So I hope I can get them typed out and over on my website. Also, my psychic crystal readings for the new year of 2024 for each sign of the zodiac are also available. Those links are down below and on my website. And my New Year 2024 10 card Celtic Cross Tarot Spread Psychic Tarot readings for each sign of the zodiac. If you haven't checked out the New Year's readings yet, we're only a couple months into the new year, so you may want to check them out because they will be very helpful to you to go back and watch throughout the year uh, to check on those psychic predictions and messages for this year of 2024. Also, my career and finance, psychic tarot, and crystal readings for the next 12 to 18 months. I recorded them in April of 2023, and the predictions go out until the end of October of 2024. I'm not going to do my uh, career and finance readings like that anymore. I may uh, break them up, career separately, finance separately. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to continue on in that format. So this will be the last chance to get them together in the same video uh, format, that the way they're laid out now. Also, my Horseshoe Tarot Seven Card Spread Psychic Tarot readings, I recorded them in August of 2023. Uh, August of 2023, and those predictions go all the way out until the end of August of 2024. So if you want to see what videos I have available, there'll be many links down below. You can click on that uh, each link. You can go to the page on Vimeo and read the descriptions of what I divination tools I've used, how long the predictions go out for, and what I'm covering in the video. You can also see those, that same information on my videos page on my website. Uh, also, if you would like to help support this channel and donate to the channel to help it keep going, there's a donation link down below connected to PayPal. Thank you so much to those of you who have been very kind, generous, and donated to my channel. It does mean a lot 
and it does help me a lot. And you know, when you purchase my Vimeo videos, you are helping support this channel to keep going. The ad revenue is so small, you can't live off of it unless you have like, you know, several hundred uh, thousand subscribers or you're up to a million subscribers. The, the lower level uh, subscribership, it, it's not enough to live on and to keep going. So any videos you buy and any donations you make help to keep me be able to make these videos here on YouTube. So it does help and it's a great thing. I do truly appreciate it and it means a lot to me. So thank you so much for that. Also, if you would like to get more predictions and messages from my spirit guides that you're not going to see here on a video on YouTube, you can also follow me on my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgel on Instagram. And also at The Lucky Mermaid on X and also on my Rumble channel, The Lucky Mermaid LLC. So, uh, but I do do posts on X. I also post predictions and messages on Facebook and Instagram and also on my YouTube community pages. Many people find these messages resonate with them. I usually pull tarot cards or oracle cards. Occasionally I use the crystal and people do find they resonate with them. So hopefully you'll find they resonate with you as well. So I hope you have an absolutely marvelous month of March, all the signs of the Zodiac out there, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace. Thank you.